And then we found out that there's way more things that the O2 trainer is doing for you. Can you go into more detail about that? Yeah, okay, so what happened was, a while ago, Belisa Vredic, I was talking about her earlier, the breathing expert, I was visiting her at her uh, office on Fifth Avenue in, uh, in New York. Nice. And um, I'm coming in, and the first thing she did is measuring my chest expansion. And I knew why she did that, I will come back to that later. So, she's measuring, and while I'm breathing in, and she goes like, mm, ah, <laughs> you know, and she does it again, and I'm expanding my chest again, and she says, one moment, and she walks out, she comes back with another doctor, and I go, what's going on? It's either really bad or really, really good, right? She says, well, if I wouldn't bring him, he's not gonna believe what I'm gonna show him now. I said, what do you mean? He says, well, normally when people break our record here, the expanding chest, it's like by a quarter inch. You just broke the record by more than two inches, which is, is, is a crazy amount. So now you ask yourself, how is that possible? Well, you are working out your muscles that are responsible for expanding your chest, the outside muscles of your core, your diaphragm, your back, and of course the intercoastal muscles. There's no other breathing device that can do that. So this is it. And you said that you were strengthening the muscles you use to expand your chest. So is it safe to say that you can expand your chest further now? Yes, you can. Wow. A and what does that do for your lungs? Well, you're going to be able to pull more air into your lungs. But isn't it true that you can't, you know, shrink or grow your lungs? Or they're basically the same size. No, you're 100% right. They come in a certain size. Some people have bigger lungs, smaller lungs, medium lungs, whatever <laughs> it is. But think about this. When you're working out in a gym, right, for instance, your biceps, what happens? They start pumping up. Mm -hmm. Now, that means that when you train any muscle in your body with resistance, it will start pumping up. So now imagine you're doing a heart conditioning workout, right? And you're breathing in very fast at a high rate. So you start working those core muscles and they start to pump up. Now you have to understand they don't only pump up to the front, they also pump up to the inside. Mm -hmm. So now the space inside your body, which is there for your lungs, it becomes more compact. Everything becomes more tight. And that means you cannot completely fill them back up with muscle, with, with air, of course. You know, also when the muscles between the ribs and the intercoastal muscles that you hear, and of course the back muscles, when they are getting tight, it's going to be also hard for you to expand your chest, you know, to fully extend. So once you train those outside muscles, which you do with the O2 trainer, I mean, that's when you, that's the only way actually to train them, you can expand your chest more, and that means you can pull in more air.